What's up guys, welcome back to another tutorial on how to create Word documents. And in this tutorial we are actually not going to create any Word documents, we are going to read documents. So a friend of mine sent me a joke, uh, an, uh, an email, and he sent me that joke in a Word document. And as you might know me, I'm just way too lazy to open up that document with Word, so I'm just going to create a program that lets me read the document with that program, which is of course much easier than opening the program X itself. So I'll just create a new class and I'll call it read stuff. And sorry, you'll have to keep up if you want to know what that joke is. I think it's going to be a good one. He's a good friend. So, and of course I misspelled read stuff. So let's redo this again. Okay. So now that we have our class, let's import the most important things we're going to need for our uh, Java file. So the first thing we're going to need is the org apache poi xwpf dot x uh, user model dot xwpf document. So if you want to create Word documents, you'll always have to start with the xwpf document. <laughs> and then the second thing we're going to need for reading reading out documents is the org apache poi xwpf and there's a um there wait well <laughs> there's a package called the extractor so if you go to the extractor there's a class in there that's called the xwpf word Extractor and with the word extractor we can extract words out of documents and uh, read them basically read them with uh, With that Java program and apparently I wrote that wrong. What? Oh, it's extract. Okay So those are the two classes from the Apache library that we are going to need for reading out documents and so now just to get the file itself from the hard drive we have to import the uh, java.io.file input stream so you might remember from the last tutorials that we always imported the file output stream uh, but you uh, you just need the file output stream in order to uh, put stuff from the java uh, file in or from the Java program in on the hard drive and now in this case we want to get uh, files from the hard drive into our read stuff class and then uh, read it out there so that's why we have to use the file input stream so this is our input and I thought maybe we could let the user choose his file if you have already watched my Excel tutorials this might sound a little familiar so we have to import the java x dot swing dot j file chooser so price question what is the j file chooser if I go for instance in eclipse up to file and then open file a little window po pops up and so this is the j file chooser you can say so you know, it's the little window displaying all the files that you have on your computer. And then you can just click on a file and then click on open if you want to, or just close it. And so we can do this with the J file chooser. Uh, this lets us then select our file much easier. And so I'm going to show you also how to use the J file chooser in order to get to our requested file. Alright, now that we have all our imports, let's create our main method. I'll just say public static void main string square brackets args and then in the main method let's just create the window. So I'll just say j file chooser then I'll just say uh, window equals to new j file chooser then let's just 
show the window to the users. So we can say window dot show open wait, let me see. Dot show open dialog. And if you show you the method right here, you're gonna see it is returning an int. And I'll get to that why it's returning an int and not just displaying the window by itself. And as a component, just type in null because we don't have any. All right, let's see what it does. So now a little window pops up. And hey, hey there is our J file choose and some beautiful little folders, buttons, and all the things you you have you need for <laughs> selecting our file basically. Uh, and so now why it is returning an int, uh, we have to detect which button the user pressed. So you can see down here there's a um, cancel option and an open option and we have to detect whether or not he the user clicked on open or not. So we can do that by creating an if statement. So I'll say if, and of course we need to get that int value. So I'll just say in front of the window that show open dialog int return value. So now it's going to save the button that the user has pressed into the return value. And we want to check if that button or button was the open button. So we can say return value equals equals to uh, j file chooser. And in there, there's a constant called the approve option. And so the approve option is just the open button itself. And so we want to check if he clicked on that button. And if he did, we want to create a new document, so we have to say xwpf document. I'll just call it document equals to new xwpf document. And now, in order to get the requested file from the two, uh, from the user, uh, we have to use the file input stream. So we have uh, in there we have to say new file input stream and in parentheses is an argument you have to, you'll have to put the file in and of course the file that the user has selected is saved in the j file chooser up here so all we have to say is window dot get selected file and then it's going to underline everything in red because we need to add a throws declaration. Don't know why. Let's just do it. And then as soon as we have the document, we only have to read out the stuff from the document. So I'll just create the extractor by saying xwpf extractor. Uh, word extractor, of course. So it xwpf word word extractor director I'll just call it extract equals to new xwpf word extractor and then in parentheses is an argument we only have to put in the document so I'll just say document so this should have help now last but not least let's get the joke out of that selected file. So I'll just say system dot out dot print line extract dot get text. And th with the get text method we get all the sentences, all the letters, everything, every content from our document. So let's run this program and let's see what my friend has written a uh, joke, joke, joke word document. So let's see, it's on my desktop and it's called joke.docx. Let's open it. Oh boy, oh boy. <gasps> Did you know that women can do four things at once? Well, that's threatening. Wow. Seriously? 
Okay, I get the point. I get the point, but it, okay. <laughs> okay, that's that joke is it's just bad. <laughs> All right, whatever. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I had some great support from you. Uh, some great comments, great mails. I even got some fan mail. I'm really happy about that. I didn't know that people actually enjoy watching those videos. I hope you enjoyed this little joke. Leave me a comment below what I should tell my friend about this joke if it's horrible or <laughs> if I just should have should I ba make waffles for him. I don't know. Never mind. <laughs>